In this video, we are going to discuss about microprocessor characteristics. Microprocessors are multi-purpose devices that can be designed for generic as well as specific use. If you take a, your mobile phone or laptop, then that microprocessor is a general purpose microprocessor. However, microprocessors can also be designed for graphical processing or machine vision. They are the specialized ones. Whether it is a generic microprocessor or a specific microprocessor, it will have these three characteristics, clock speed, instruction set, word size. In fact, these are the three characteristics that differentiate between these two types of microprocessors. So let's first look at what we mean by clock speed. Now every microprocessor has a clock. What does the clock do? The clock will regulate the speed at which the instructions are executed as well as it will synchronize the clock with all the other components, the different parts of the microprocessor. The speed at which the microprocessor execute instructions is called the clock speed. It is generally measured in megahertz or gigahertz. One megahertz means one million cycles per second whereas one gigahertz is equivalent to one billion cycles per second. Clock speed is usually in the range of three gigahertz. If the clock is designed for more than three gigahertz then the clock will get so hot that the processor will stop working. So after this speed there has been no development in the speed of the microprocessor. Instead the manufacturers are putting more than one microprocessor on their chip to increase the speed. Now let's see what we mean by the word size of the microprocessor. The number of bits that can be processed by the microprocessor at a time is the word size. One single instruction can take 2 bit, 3 bit, 4 bit that is the word size. However, it is not 2 bit or 3 bit, it is always in multiple of 4. So usually it is 4 bit, 16 bit or 32 bit or 64 bit word size. It also determines the amount of RAM that can be accessed by the microprocessor. RAM, random access memory or the primary memory of the processor. The total number of input and output pins determine the microprocessor architecture, the way microprocessor is actually made. When we saw in the figure in the previous video, the microprocessor had many pins coming out. So the number of pins will depend on what is the word size. If there are 8 bits to be studied at the same time, then there will be 8 input pins and 8 output pins. Currently, most microprocessors are using 32 bit or 64 bit architecture. Next, let's look at the instruction set. What do we mean by instruction set? A command given to a digital machine to perform an operation or a piece of data is called an instruction. For a microprocessor, these instructions take on special meaning because all the jobs, all the functions that can be executed by the microprocessor has to be implemented in the form of instructions. These instructions should be able to do data transfer, arithmetic operations, logical operations, control flow, input output and machine control. In our next video, we will see that how important these instruction sets are and how that differentiates between different microprocessor concepts.